Hello everybody, my name is Chiara Turco and I am visiting scholar researcher at University of Dundee, where I am collaborating with the research group led by Saverius Padera. The title of this research project is a digital tool for the assessment of out-of-plane mechanism in historic buildings. It is developed in collaboration with Dr. Marco Francesco Funari and Dr. Matteo Ciantia, and it is the extension of a previous work idealized by Marco and Saverio. This is the outline of my presentation. Firstly, I will talk to you about the seismic vulnerability of the mensary structures and of the filler modes that typically can happen. Then I will briefly discuss the numerical modeling and analysis methods available in literature. Moving on, I am going to present the visual program and its capabilities. Finally, I will show you some remarkable results and will discuss future investigation as well as conclusion. As known, masonry structures populate European historic centers. Being long-lived and of great interest to the public, they are affected by immense historical and cultural value. However, they present a very weak seismic performance because of they are sometimes made with poor materials from the mechanical point of view. Several authors have proposed the classification for the failure mechanism that can involve them after an earthquake event. As you can see on the screen, I am reporting some pictures representing masonry buildings after a seismic event. They are classified as first and second mode. We are focused about first mode failure mechanism. Basically, our model is able to predict the geometry of the macro block that can involve in the out of plane mechanism. At this stage, it is very important understanding how we can simulate the real behavior of complex masonry buildings by adopting proper digital numerical tool. Given the deep complexities and the uncertainties that characterize the geometry of buildings, especially for the historic ones, and the highly nonlinear mechanical response, the numerical modeling of masonry structure is still a challenging task. Some authors have proposed the classification in terms of a kind of modeling methodologies block based, continuum models, geometry based, and macro element models. Modeling strategies need of a numerical or analytical scheme to be solved. In particular, there are methods based on classical limit theorem of plasticity, like for example upper bound theorem per following follow Hyman's assumption, or incremental iterative analysis, like for instance nonlinear static analysis or nonlinear dynamic analysis. The main aim of the present research is to develop a method for the rapid assessment of masonry structures by combining concepts arising from nonlinear continuum modeling, limit analysis theorem, and evolutionary solvers. The workflow is all integrated into a visual program implemented into the environment offered by Rhino and Grasshopper, which allows to parametric handle a large set of information through object-oriented scripts. On the blue box, I am reporting the steps needed to assess the global behavior of the analyzed structure. Indeed, the preliminary global analyses are so able to provide the relevant information on possible collapse mechanisms, especially for the structures are apparently in good state of conservation and do not show any crack patterns. In the orange box are represented the steps referred to local analysis, performed by combining concepts about both an upper bound theorem of plasticity and evolutionary solvers. In this slide, I am representing the visual program, which is referred to the second part of the workflow algorithm. It is structured in eight logical parts, clusters, ranging from the identification of the macro blocks to the computation of the horizontal acceleration needed for the activation of the local mechanism of collapse. The first cluster used the results of the pushover analysis to generate the control surface. In second cluster, each wall is associated with a pink box. 
Here happened the identification of the side walls involving the collapse mechanism. The third cluster defined the failures of phase. In the same cluster, some sliders are defining the genetic panorama. At these steps, the user can set the maximum height of the structures and the specific gravity of the mensory. In the fourth green cluster, the user can modify the value of the friction coefficient. The visual code evaluates the friction resistance on each side walls. The fifth cluster calculates the inertial forces. Each wall embedded in the mechanism is associated with a yellow box. This blue cluster provides the evaluation of the kinematic multiplier by considering both hypotheses nil and maximal frictional resistance. In this cluster, the script finds the solution of the constrained optimization problem by using a genetic algorithm. Based on the results obtained in the previous step, this cluster calculates the horizontal acceleration needed for the, acti the activation uh, of the local collapse mechanism. Now let me introduce some remarkable results about numerical validation and a case of study. A mensary wall loaded in this plane is here considered to validate the suitability of the proposed procedure. The geometry as well as the mechanical parameters are taken from literature in order to make our results comparable with those obtained by other researchers. It is extensively studied by Casapulla et al. that solved the problem by using both micro and macro modeling approach. As you can see on the screen, the results obtained by using the proposed formulation and the ones obtained by adopting the macro block formulation proposed by Casapulla et al. are in excellent agreement. Finally, I am showing the results obtained by analyzing these mensary structures following the proposed procedure. It has two level and L-shaped plan. The floors, as well as the roof, are assumed to, to be made of timber, so they are consequently considered to be deformable in their plane. The self-weight for both systems is considered equal to 2 kN per square meter. The preliminary step consists in the pushover analysis. The horizontal displacement corresponding to 47 control points, red dots in figure, are collected. Without going into much details on the basis of the results collected for each control point, a control surface is built. It should be noted that, based on a control surface, it is possible to identify the macro block that involves in the mechanism. The figure shows the displacement map arising from the nonlinear static analysis at the last load increment and the geometry of the macro block obtained from the visual program. It is used as a starting point for the optimization procedure. Thus, positive and negative orientation for the horizontal thrust are discussed in the following. Here are reported the damage pattern obtained from the preparatory step the control surface that identify macro block and their top view. It should be noted that the optimization algorithm finds the convergence after just 20 iterations. The same consideration for the positive and, neg and negative uh, y direction can be done. Our work develops a set of parametric analyses considering various inputs such as failure surface discretization, friction coefficient and opening incidence. So we can verify both the sensitivity and the accuracy of the proposed method. In this work, a novel digital procedure for the assessment of mesory structures is proposed. A pushover analysis, which is weakly depend on mechanical parameters in compression, allows to generate a possible configuration of failure surfaces through the control surface method. 
a further step of analysis in bits and upper bound limit analysis of the problem under the hypothesis of no tension capacity for the mensural material. Based on detected failure surfaces, genetic algorithms are employed to explore a variety of different collapse mechanisms that are kinematically compatible. The visual approach followed in this work allows to establish a relation between the complex geometries featured by historic mensal structures and their mechanical response. Thank you for your kind attention.